Hindus? Should you talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah, no, we haven't touched on that. Uh, so I guess yeah, go ahead. if somebody does do a speed test, and it is like three to four megabytes if they're you know gone gone upstairs and it's just really poor. Okay. Um, a Wi-Fi extender might actually really help you out with that because what a Wi-Fi extender's purpose is is you'll plug it in so that it's kind of close enough to the router in order to echo the signal and boost it. Some people may call it Wi-Fi boosters. Other people call it Wi-Fi extenders. It just right. depends. Right. Yeah, they're they're basically a small, typically a small rectangular device that have a plug built into them. You can just plug them into a wall socket. So let's say you've got your Wi-Fi transmitter in the middle of the house downstairs. You know, it's a kind of a typical place for people. Although some people have it in their utility room and it's completely hidden away. So that's another story. Yeah. But wherever it is, uh, you're far enough away from it to where your signal strength goes down and down and down. And by the time you get to the other side of the house. You can't even use it at all, though, perhaps. Or your children are upstairs in another bedroom trying to do something. They're always complaining to you. So you get one of these, and we sell them here. You can pick them up online. You plug them in, and the goal there is the halfway point. Yes. Uh, so to be clear about that, wherever the farthest point is that you're experiencing your struggle, you get this extender. Don't put it where you're struggling. Don't put it at the where the internet is the best right where the router is because it's not going to be able to get to you either. You've got to find out wherever the halfway point is, you plug it in as close to that halfway point as possible and, and you won't always have perfection there, uh, but you do the best you can. And what it's going to do, it's going to grab that signal from the base wireless transmitter and retransmit it to wherever you are. Now you have a loss in bandwidth numbers. So you see where I was 200 or 400, depending on who you ask, uh, <laughs> megabytes per second uh, uh, a, a few minutes ago. If you were to put that uh, booster in the middle, and by the way, they're only, they're, they're typically less than $40. They're not very expensive items. Um, then the speed that you get at the other side of the house is probably going to be about half the speed of what the base station was transmitting. Mm -hmm. But based on my, you know, what we were talking about a little bit ago, if it only takes 20 megabytes per second to get the job done, don't worry about the half a speed. Now you've got internet where you had none before.